The queues to fill up cars with fuel in northwestern Venezuela are two, three, up to four kilometers long. Near the city of Valencia, motorists hope and pray they'll be lucky to make it to the pump before it runs dry. Yesterday, I was in line for six hours and couldn't fill up. Is that normal, I ask? With this government, apparently it is. We are a major oil producing country and look, no gasoline on top of shortages of water and electricity. The further you go from Caracas, the harder it is to find petrol. But in the past two weeks, the hunt for fuel has become much worse. Look, we started a group chat called Info Gasoline Station Aragua. These are the messages from today to alert each other of where to find fuel. There's several causes for the crisis, say industry experts. Venezuela's refinery capacity is down to 20% of its normal level. Instead of 1.3 million barrels a day, we're only refining 260,000, which means we have to import gasoline. Venezuela was importing it from the United States, but as of April 28th, the U.S. government stopped all sales, not just of fuel, but of the additives needed to make the petrol that Venezuela is still able to refine at home. And then there's the chronic problem of price distortions. All the petrol in this tanker truck, or 13,000 liters, costs less than one dollar, which means it's practically free, but only if you can find it. These shortages and these long lines are creating a black market, with some people charging as much as $10 for 20 liters. Now, anywhere else that may be considered peanuts, but here in Venezuela, where the only Anything cheaper than petrol is the air that you breathe that is considered a fortune and much more than the minimum wage. The shortages have not yet impacted the capital Caracas, but experts say it may not be long before they do. An irony that escapes no one in Venezuela, the country with the world's largest oil reserves. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Valencia, Venezuela.